Coffee, one of the coolest stories we just heard right outside of our Airstream. The camp hosts at the campground we're at, this is their first ever experience in an RV. Apparently they both lived in the southeast, they had the golden handcuffs, made good money, didn't like what they did, they both quit their jobs, bought an RV, and started traveling. And what they do is they live five to six months at each place and just camp host. So they live for free, they live really cheap, some places even pay you to be a camp host. But the kicker is, and this was absolutely amazing to me, they knew each other for four months before they started traveling. Wow. Because they're living within like, I don't know, 20, 30 square feet of each other all day, every day. And they knew each other for four months before they started doing this. But not liking what you do, making a change, trying something else, seeing if it works, I love those stories. Just heard it outside, I had to report it. Had to. And I have a little creative streak right now. So I just took my camera out with my macro lens to get some small detail shots from around this campsite. So here they are. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed those. These, those photos were taken with this guy. This is a 1978-ish era Nikon manual focus lens. Um, one of the sharpest lenses, it's a 55 millimeter f2.8 macro. One of the sharpest lenses I have ever used auto or manual focus in my entire photographic quote unquote career because I'm not a professional, but I try my best. So awesome lens. Uh, works great on this Sony camera with this little coupler here. Um, yeah, works great. I gotta say, for this being Memorial Day weekend, this campground has been remarkably quiet. The entire thing is full of people, even like three tenths that way with three cars in the spot next to us. And we have heard kids from time to time that way, but like last night at 8.30 or 9, it was dead. Everybody just kind of shut up and it was it was one of the nicest. We, we were kind of fearing that this place would be kind of hopping and maybe the tent area is. Um, there's like a whole nother area for tenters even though there's one right here. But we were kind of fearing that it would be a lot louder but it really wasn't and um, we're, that was kind of cool. <laughs> As you can see, this campground can accommodate almost any size of rig. There's an R pod right over there, but this site is huge. And of course, ours is a 30 foot site, but you can probably go a little bit bigger. I'd say 35, 38 feet would be uh, pretty much the max in this spot, maybe 35. Because uh, we have to park our truck sideways here, diagonal, so we're not sticking out into the road. But we have our own fire pit here, which is kind of nice. Haven't used that yet. We might do so tonight. Nice picnic table. This one happens to be handicapped accessible. Not, not sure how that happened. I guess we just requested it. There wasn't any handicap thing on the website or outside, so um, didn't know it, but we have a handicap table. Solar lights are charging for tonight. So far so good with the mice, by the way. Didn't hear anything. We saw some chipmunks running around. We haven't actually seen a mouse, um, but we wouldn't be surprised if they were in this area. But the lights under the Airstream at night are doing a good job. There's a bike path up here that runs from Dillon, which is that, or uh, Breckenridge, which is that way, all the way down here. It's like 15 or so miles. So if you're a biker, that would be an awesome path to take. We've been walking the dogs on it. We're not bikers, so we haven't actually biked it. But if you are, definitely check that out. Where does that bike path supposedly go? Out front? Breckenridge to like something? Dillon or something? No, it comes all the way down here, but I thought it even went to Vic. 
Vale. I think there's like this giant biking network up here. You can go all over the place. Nice. Yeah. Isn't that right, Penny? I think there's even biking outfitters that you will um, take you up to like Vale area with bikes and then you bike down. But That's the way to do it. Only biking downhill is my preferred way of biking, or on one of those e-bikes. My folks got a couple of those e-bikes. One of them is quite fast now. Those were incredible amounts of fun. That's how I bike. I don't want to pedal. I don't like to pedal. Our first official campfire of the year. Actually, official or unofficial, <laughs> it's our first campfire. We use the fire pit once or twice, but that's, that's fake. That's propane. This is a real fire right here. Gonna have some s'mores? Yes, they're back there. I'm waiting. S'mores and water. Because <laughs> we're crazy like yeah. that. We're rebels.